Hello, I'm back to Life is Strange and I finished episode 1 and I found it interesting enough to keep playing the game. So today let's start with the episode number 2, part 1. In the previous episode of Life is Strange... Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! They called film Whoa. little pieces what of What the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. I like how they sum up the first episode when starting to play the second, so it's for people who haven't played the previous one or to remind themselves of what happened in general there. Well, I wasn't able to find the, the mouse uh, pointer. <laughs> Well, I guess Max is back to her dorm. Yeah. Funny t shirt. <laughs> I have to press space to get up. If real life was that easy. <laughs> I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. Where are the bathrooms at? I'm walking around in Ow! underwear. Okay. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. 
Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. I wonder if something bad will happen now. I kind of have that weird feeling. What's up, Kate? Oh, well. School. Here's That's the answer. It? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> what a strange link. Katesv.com I wanna punch this Victoria in the face. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Well, I always thought this uh, girl Kate um, had something hiding, but just I had no idea it was this. So I'm gonna erase this because why not? Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Tampon dispenser. I don't need now, it seems. Um, can you swim to success? Okay, um, so let's keep going. She's wearing the same clothes. Every time I shower, I wear clean clothes. Oh, is this girl? Let's speak to her for the first time. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Go away! People sleeping! Okay, Clearly I'm sorry. <laughs> Stump and Bigfoots. For Halloween, it seems. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Uh oh. That's so not cool. 
I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Great. One last person watching it. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. <laughs> uh, I'm not big on cosplay. <laughs> Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? I will, I will. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. <laughs> Right, I use others' laptop without asking. <laughs> That's rude. Right, let's get back to my bedroom. Oh, wait, can I enter in your room? I need to get dressed before I go there. Oh, okay, so I walk around with a bunch of people around here without getting dressed and now I need to get dressed before Heading to Kate's bedroom, yeah, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Who did this? <sighs> no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. Holy crap. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. There shouldn't be a key to every room, I think so, but this Victoria slut just came here and messed it all up. Holy crap. Man, this could almost be uh, art if it wasn't so fucking sick and whoa. disturbed. Well, I don't have to look even closer. I can read it. No book here. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Problem solved. Be gone, foul soft drink. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you sneaky book. You're mine. Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. It looks a little dry, indeed. <laughs> Let's take a selfie, because why not? With this camera Chloe gave me. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Sticky notes, books, 
What does it say here? I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. So much stuff. Right, it doesn't seem to have something useful for me to, to read. <laughs> for now, at least. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. She'll spread that shit everywhere. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Alright, so let's get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Where does Victoria bedroom add to be in front of Max's room? That's not cool. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. I'm gonna read this. Your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness, your mother. Uh oh. I hope they don't really watch that video because that's gonna be messed up for uh, Kate. I bet she's fully regretted, but you know, no one does this to others. It, it just victory sucks, assholes. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't. Look. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Kate, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Rabbit! So cute, let's take a photo, yes! Taking a photo of everything. <laughs> Even post for the photo. Ouch. She left out amnation. No spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Oh well. Her hounds uh, watched that video. Kinda sucks. Good lord. Oh. This must be Kate's HR <laughs> Geiger period. Well, from that uh, painting over there, the trunk, to this one, there are a few differences. But yes, totally understandable, I guess. 
So there are a bunch of uh, things here to look at, but let's speak to her finally. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I had no choice. David Madsen is an asshole. You had the choice to not get involved. Nobody here seems to care about anybody. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I was thinking about it. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? You don't. I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate... We'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Poor Kate, really? She doesn't deserve this? So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Mm, maybe look for proof first. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Can I rewind this to choose the call the police option? But it's not gonna help because the press cuts seem Good to own the Dr. police Max. around here. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Wow. 
So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Let's Prescott helped me. Let's put the book back here again. Or hurt me after that party. Probably the second I thing. Go to the police? Totally. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. So this was the best answer for her. Glad I can rewind on time. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Two whales, don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay breakfast, no emoji. <laughs> Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. Those are not squirrels. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Okay, it doesn't seem suspicious to me anymore. Mm -hmm. He seems like to be a, a peaceful guy, so let's leave him alone for now. Oh, look, the bitch's friend. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. <laughs> I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. 
Well, we should totally stay here and then I will make the second part of this episode number two. Um, soon, in a while, whenever I got the time private number, this is Nathan's father, this is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You are not the first student at Blackwell to try this, I hope you are the last. Consider this a final poly polite warning. Whoa. Scary. Well, anyway, let's stay here. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.